As communication and interaction are key components of mankind, social media, thanks to its ability to lay bridges across time and space, has become an inseparable element of our societies. Social media is not a nice-to-have technology. It is the largest and most significant part of human global communication. Social media is a critical element of the human ecosystem. Social media are the people. The phenomenon is so big that no one can understand social media by just having a close look at a few platforms. Limiting our understanding of social media to the activity we have in some groups is like believing that all the important interactions in the world happen only in a single place in one single language. Mankind is big, diverse, and complex. To understand it, one needs to explore and explore again. Visit places, meet people, learn languages. Social media, its reflection on the web, is also big, diverse, and complex. To understand it is to understand the people. And this takes a lot of exploring, listening, engaging, language learning. Among the huge social media ecosystem for this course, we have chosen to focus on a few social media platforms but these are not the only ones, and they are not the best ones. Tens of others might have been chosen. They were chosen for their specifications and relevance to this course. What are the best social media tools to use? This is a question everyone has a different answer to. We encourage you to wisely choose which tools are best for you. The social media platform we are going to explore now has been chosen by the course participants. To the question, what social media tool would you like to learn more about? A majority answered LinkedIn. The objective of this video is from a military and defense personnel point of view to explore why and how to use LinkedIn. It will address the following topics. LinkedIn is a platform that focuses on job-related interactions such as looking for a job, advertising your skills, uh, looking for new collaborators, advertising your business and promoting it. And as a matter of fact, it is mainly uh, used by people who want to address job-related topics without involving private life or leisure-related content. It proposes features that support that priority. And these activities such as sharing a personal profile based on work-related information, develop networks of people, sharing the same professional areas of interest, showcase company pages. Of course, one can always use that platform outside of its main or announced field of activity. Finally, let us not forget that, as any social media tool of that size, LinkedIn is a profit-making business that gives its sponsor the opportunity to influence you through the platform. Like anyone else, defense personnel can use LinkedIn to find a job, even if uh, most of the time government servants and military are less in need of using social media tools to find jobs. But what we see is that when they come closer to the time they will leave their governmental service, Many people, many military try to build a nice LinkedIn presence in a rush and it's not that easy. What is more relevant to this course is the use active duty personnel might uh, make of LinkedIn. Military and defense organizations are usually large ones. They have developed genuine information sharing processes and tools. Anyhow, no single tool can do everything. This is why many find in LinkedIn an interesting alternative way to provide and receive some information. The people one is able to connect with within office hours and through corporate communication channels is constrained. Once again, not everything can be done through a single or a few channels and processes. This is why people turn to LinkedIn to develop a network of contact they would not be able to reach otherwise. The alternative information sharing and alternative networking offered by LinkedIn propose to the military a kind of alternative command and control. And here I need to, op to open a parenthesis it's been uh, rightfully mentioned that there is no command and control possible in the social media, 
But if I use uh, the term command and control for you to understand that what is offered by LinkedIn and sometimes by other uh, social media platforms is a way to achieve your defense organizational goals through different ways of interaction. Some say that command and control in the social media is complemented by focus and coordinate. What is really making a difference between the corporate interaction processes and social media interaction processes is that anyone can tailor one social media engagement to one specific need. It is much less constrained and thus allow people to do more things and different things the way they want. It is noticeable that many military personnel are skilled in areas that are not related to their current job description. LinkedIn can then become the environment where they are able to invest those hidden gems in support of the global corporate objective. Let me share a few tips on how to efficiently achieve your objectives in LinkedIn. This is what we will be considering. The attitude on LinkedIn is not significantly different from another social media platform. However, we would never enough repeat that we have to behave online as we behave in a reception. Be mindful of what you do and say, because strangers are hearing you. Be always polite, even if you are feeling that your counterpart is somehow offensive. You don't want to start a fight in public, don't you? Respond when you are talked to. Don't stand alone in a corner of the room. But what does this actually mean online? Always avoid conflict and negative messages. Take the time to listen before deciding that you understand your counterpart's intention or message. Respond to call within 24 hours. If you are too busy, say it, but don't forget to come back later. Even if you are not interested in the conversation, exchange a few words before moving away. It is okay not to look for any interaction. Just be aware that by doing so you will probably be seen as the guy sitting alone at the counter talking only to his beer. In addition to this, whatever you do online leaves a trace. Therefore, be very mindful of what you do. Since any online activity leaves trace, it is paramount that you know well your objectives and stick to them. Ask yourself why you have created a LinkedIn account to be sure that you are still on the right track. Your use of LinkedIn must be totally coherent with your objectives. Either do this well or don't do it at all. It is fine to open an empty profile for a while, the time to understand the environment and the interface, but soon you will have to choose between being efficient or closing down your account. An empty or poor profile is like an abundant car in front of your house. Like it or not, it does damage your reputation. Now, I have some joint cars in front of my house, but if LinkedIn is the place where you build your professional profile, it might be a good idea to have it look like a little better than a wreck. You know your objectives, that's great. Now you need to support them through a narrative, a story people discover when they visit you online. It is composed of one simple message that is conveyed by any element of your LinkedIn presence, your profile, your posts, your questions, your comments, your likes, your shares. All of these need to converge toward the message you send to the rest of the users. Such a narrative could be, I am an expert in this, I am highly reliable. Everyone will find one's own narrative. An extremely important element of your LinkedIn presence is your profile. LinkedIn is specially designed for you to present a profile that is a professional resume. Dedicate much time to get it look as good as possible. Your picture needs to be coherent with your narrative. Don't show yourself playing football unless this is an essential part of your narrative. Same thing, don't show other people with you, unless they play a role in your professional life. LinkedIn is not the platform where one uses an avatar or forgets to upload a profile picture. List your main skills and expertise. Don't show a long list, nobody is Superman, but highlight what you do best. 
If people endorse you for skills you have not chosen as part of your narrative, don't accept them. Showcase what you have achieved. Upload documents you have drafted, videos, photos and links to your achievements and companies you have been working for. List the people you have been working with. They will be able to verify the information and strengthen your profile. Use all the functions of your profile to tell and illustrate your narrative. If your profile is your resume, people will only find about it and read it if they find out about you through your comments and posts online. When you post and comment, be sure that you follow your narrative and you prove that you have the skills you claim in your profile. People will then get to your profile and discover more about you. You can also build a strong LinkedIn profile and uh, elaborate on your resume and your skills on other uh, social media platform that will link back to your LinkedIn profile. Why connecting with people on LinkedIn? Simply to meet your objectives. Who should you connect with? With the people who have the information you are looking for or with whom you might want to collaborate or the ones who should listen to you. LinkedIn provides you with nice tools to search the members based on their professional skills, activities, interests, location, etc. You can only contact people who are somehow close to you. In theory, you cannot try to connect with a perfect stranger. The interface asks you how you know the person you want to connect with. It is of course easy to fool the machine. But make sure you don't bother the people who would not want to hear from you. Be always ready to explain why you have contacted a person and show that a new connection will be mutually beneficial. The same thing happens when someone contacts you and requests to be part of your network. Don't connect randomly. Make sure that the connection is actually supporting your objectives. But before refusing to connect, take the time to discuss with the person and understand his or her motivations and maybe explain why you will not connect. It is safe to say that it is better to have a small amount of good connections than a large amount of bad ones. But for some specific professional activities, one needs to build the biggest network possible. Make the effort to know the people you connect with. You need them to achieve your objectives. Consider them as a human resource you can leverage when needed. In exchange for this, be ready to help them when they would need you. This brings us to an important question. How much time does it take? Building and updating a nice profile, telling a story through posts and comments, respond when you are talked to, Build a network of people you interact with. Of course, your days are already full. But the trick here is not to conduct social media activity on top of what you already do. The beauty of social media is that it will replace some other ways of interacting with your network. Even if the initial effort will take some additional time, soon you will be able to identify activities that are better conducted through social media than through other collaboration means. This is really depending on your personality and professional activity, but people often find out that social media could replace a lot of emails, phone calls, meetings and travels. Groups is a very useful feature of this platform. Within a group, you actively progress towards your goal through information exchange and online collaboration. Some groups are made of people who already work together. In this case, they allow them to interact in another way or on other topic, in other places and other times. But most of the groups are made of people who share some interest but will not be able to interact without the internet because of time and space constraints. Being part of groups is paramount to any human activity. It is a force multiplier in support of your shared objectives. Like you can search for people, LinkedIn offers nice tools to search for groups. When you enter a group, take the time to listen a lot and understand the environment. Then, 
start to comment on other members' posts by asking them questions. Remember that people are in the social media to be heard. Give them the opportunity to express themselves by asking them the questions they like. This is how you prepare them to listen to you whenever you will start posting your own content. You might choose to create your own group or company page in support of your activities and objectives. All the needed tools are there for you to do so. Just stick to the principles we discussed earlier. Of course, such an activity will require more time. Let us now step back for a while and consider the LinkedIn platform from the broader perspective of this course. I mean that I will consider LinkedIn from the specific points of view of the various course instructors. LinkedIn is an excellent platform to base a professional strategy upon, from an individual point of view as well as from a company point of view. Its commercial nature does not fit that well with governmental institutions, but it is still useful to share information about your organization and leverage groups of co-workers or experts beyond time and space. The security aspects on LinkedIn are exactly the same as on another social media platform. It is not because this one is for professional discussions that it is not infiltrated by all sorts of fraudsters. Remember that the so-called bad guys are laying their traps on your part, also in LinkedIn. The good news is that you can mitigate the risks by following the same common sense and refer to the security and privacy tutorials provided earlier in this course. Set your privacy settings according to your objectives. Some jobs, even in defense, require to share much more information than the average service person. As everywhere online, mind what you share. Think operational security and be mindful of your reputation and the reputation of your organization. Everything you do in LinkedIn leaves a trace and can be exported outside of context. People in LinkedIn want to talk about professional activities, so use the platform for this. Most of all, don't forget that you interact with real people, not with a machine. Use the tool to build a community you will be able to leverage when needed. If you support NATO or other groups and people, show it actively by sharing their content and commenting on their posts. Supporting one another is exactly the role of a social media community. LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to use at almost full extent the various tools of video, images, text, audio and links. Make sure you use them all. To conclude with, I would like to stress the fact that for many people LinkedIn is not a social media platform like the others. It is more serious, it's professional and unique. So if you think this too, you'd better make an effort to look good on LinkedIn and better than anywhere else online. Know your objectives, build a narrative and stick to it. Know your audience and talk to it in its language. Don't consider LinkedIn in isolation. It is just one element that needs to fit perfectly in the rest of your online presence and actually be coherent with your objectives and values in life. And by the way, you could follow the Innovation Hub LinkedIn page. Together we are stronger. Thank you.